Hi friends, I'm Rodion and uh, I'm going to discuss uh, bad and good uh, code on example of uh, one of our problems about vowel count. It's uh, pretty straightforward. We need to read uh, in several uh, lines of text and uh, tell how many vowels are in every of these lines. Vowels are letters of this uh, small list. Vowels are sounds which are pronounced uh, with a voice only. So uh, what I see in uh, about half of uh, solutions, uh, especially by beginners, is like this. A uh, person knows how to code less or more, but uh, uh, there is uh, uh, something unpleasant uh, in the in this solution. Yeah, uh, after reading every line, uh, he or she uh, iterates through all uh, characters of this line. Uh, characters in line of J uh, here, and compare this line of J with every of vowels uh, a e i etc. Uh, this uh, looks um, uh, unprofessionally, right? Uh, and uh, you shouldn't do anything like this in any programming interview, of course. Uh, there should be better way. Uh, we understand that probably we can uh, combine these vowels in some uh, some list or other uh, thing and uh, just check that uh, uh, our character is not in this uh, a list for example All right so we do not re repeat this line of j equals uh, line of j equals right so let us see how people uh, try to do this and let us uh, see how to do this uh, even better uh, here is solution uh, in java but that doesn't matter uh, it's uh, roughly the same for all languages uh, here person puts uh, vowels in the list uh, in the array uh, really and uh, even creates a dedicated function is vowel which checks uh, that uh, given character uh, is in this list or not uh, just by iterating uh, with the for loop right but uh, this also isn't uh, very nice because uh, because you should guess that uh, such a function probably is already in the language in your library uh, and uh, specifically in this uh, case it's also bad that uh, this array is created every time this function is called so if you have a uh, hundred lines of hundred uh, characters uh, then it's called uh, 10,000 times and uh, this array is initialized uh, 10,000 times it's just um, because uh, it's a local variable it's about java but let's return to better solution as i promised right uh, so let us just clone this and try to to improve as i told as i told we may want to put these vowels into some uh, structure and just check uh, whether uh, whether character is in that structure let us call it wobbles and what could it be really uh, most of this idea in python for example is a, a string like this right uh, it will work it will work uh, i shall not uh, try it's uh, i already have tried there is answer uh, but um, uh, in other languages you shall find uh, analogs uh, for this uh, checking where the character is in the string like str uh, uh, str in uh, uh, php or c++ for example something like this uh, but uh, what i want to say uh, this is uh, uh, less or more okay if there are few a uh, few letters uh, to check but if there are many uh, then um, this uh, uh, check really inside uh, again does uh, this loop and uh, it is a bit inefficient what we can do better is really to create here uh, a dictionary 
I shall create dictionary with a list comprehension. Uh, for example, I shall use a, a letter as a K uh, and value is uh, not important uh, like this. So it's uh, dict with uh, every of these letters uh, as a K and values of one for every of them. Then uh, this uh, check uh, that uh, character is uh, in this dictionary. Uh, this check happens in constant time without any internal lab, loop, etc. I shall write this down. Dict uh, check happens in, uh, as they say, O of one. Uh, this means constant time. Uh, it's uh, not uh, much uh, improvement of efficiency for small uh, uh, lists, as I said, but if you need to uh, test, say, uh, 20 letters, then uh, most probably it's a way to go. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, I was uh, glad to share this piece uh, with you. I really, really tired of seeing um, such uh, solutions and I hope that uh, after, after this you will improve your code and uh, uh, God bless your code, God bless your efforts. Thanks, bye.